the scientific process. Our first step regarding the scientific process will be understanding exactly what the scientific process is. Well, put simply, the scientific process is the process in which we develop and test scientific ideas. Science at its heart should be all about establishing truths. Therefore, research conducted should always be objective and free of researchers' opinion and beliefs. To do this, research must be empirical, which means based on data collected, not conjecture. The best way to ensure this is to conduct an experiment which generates collectible quantitative data. Quantitative data is data which can be measured in numerical value, it just means counted, and also has variables which can be strictly controlled. If this is the case, and you do have variables that can be strictly controlled, then you will be able to establish cause and effect. Your study will also be replicable by other researchers in the future. Science constructs theories and tests hypotheses by asking questions with the intention of explaining how and why certain things happen. This is a scientific process. Number one, we start with a question. This question usually stems from an observation we make, which leads to us asking why or how it happens. We then formulate a theory by suggesting a possible explanation for the observation we made. Once we have suggested a theory, we then make a prediction or formulate a hypothesis which must be a specific statement that is testable based upon the theory about what will happen in a test situation. Finally, we carry out the test to generate evidence which will either support or disprove our hypotheses. As mentioned before guys, if we can't test it, then it's simply conjecture, which ain't science. Okay, so we had our hypothesis based around the theory. We conducted an experiment which supported our hypothesis. But what now? Well, now we have to let others know our findings. We need to get our results published in a scientific journal. Scientific journals are like normal magazines, but rather than compiling stories about celebrity lifestyles, they contain scientific papers or reports. Before being published, all work must be peer reviewed, which is a process established to help ensure the integrity of published scientific work where our paper is sent off to experts in the field, our peers, for quality assessment and assurance. This process is useful for several reasons. It decreases the risk of any dishonesty in data capture and analysis, and also helps to validate conclusions found within the paper. This process is not 100% however, as mistakes are still made and bad papers are published but it is a way in which scientists can self-regulate and ensure reliable scientific work is published. Once our paper is published, other scientists read it and repeat the exact experiment using the theory to potentially make new predictions which can be based on new experiments. For the findings to be established as a scientific fact, everyone who replicates the experiment must obtain the same results. However, if new evidence comes to light, which is in conflict with the previous findings, then the theory is questioned yet again, and another round of testing begins. As mentioned at the start of this video, science is about establishing truths, but not every scientist believes that the truth should be sought through trying to support the claims of a hypothesis. Some believe it is important that theories are falsifiable. Karl Popper, 1969, argued that due to the abstract nature of a theory, it is in fact impossible to prove them right through empirical research. He posited that a theory is scientific if it is falsifiable, or in other words can be proved wrong, and each test should be an attempt to do just that. Paradigm. When you hear the word science, the thoughts of psychology automatically pop into your head? Or do you think more along the lines of test tubes, periodic tables and lab coats? Well, this question of whether psychology is in fact a science is not a new one. According to Thomas Kuhn, 1970, for something to be considered science, it must have a paradigm. A paradigm? Yeah, a paradigm. A set of principles, techniques and methods which define a scientific discipline. There are some who believe psychology to have already had a paradigm established in behaviorism, which then underwent a change to cognitive psychology. Oh, just to note, when this happens, it is referred to as a paradigm shift. Conversely, others believed psychology to consist of many mini-paradigms. This leaves psychology in a sort of 
pre-science state, not quite acknowledged by all as a science. 